down. Down the seabed, the ocean encompasses 71% of Earth's water, with vast expanses still undiscovered. In this watery realm, powerful and intimidating creatures lurked. Fast forward to prehistoric times, where the oceans were dominated by monsters so mighty and menacing that we're grateful they no longer haunt our seas. Meet the most terrifying sea monsters that crossed Earth's waters. Diplocolus magnicornis, an extinct amphibian species from the Permian period, commands attention with its distinct morphology and enigmatic nature. Exhibiting lepospondyle characteristics, this creature navigated ancient lakes and rivers approximately 270 to 260 million years ago, leaving a fossilized legacy that sparks intrigue among paleontologists. Characterized by an elongated flat skull with upward curving lateral edges, the most striking feature is the prominent, horn-like extensions at the back, earning it the name Magnicornis. The specialized skull, shaped like a unique boomerang or shovel, suggests adaptations for streamlined swimming, enhancing its efficiency in the aquatic realms it inhabited. Theories surround the purpose of the horns, sparking scholarly debates on whether they served a defensive, attractive, or sexually dimorphic function. Fossil records, predominantly found in Permian deposits in North America, specifically Texas, paint a picture of an amphibian measuring around one meter in length. Think Diplocolis is easy? Well, it'd only get worse. Meet Dunkleosteus Torelli, a leviathan of the ancient seas, reigning supreme approximately 360 million years ago during the late Devonian period. This marine behemoth was no ordinary fish. It was an apex predator, a colossal force that patrolled the waters with unmatched dominance. Dunkleosteus Torelli was a heavily armored fish, a true titan among prehistoric aquatic creatures. Its formidable jaws, devoid of true teeth but armed with bony plates resembling blades, could deliver a bone-crushing bite, making it a fearsome hunter in the primeval oceans. Despite lacking the finesse of modern sharks, Dunkleosteus Torelli compensated with sheer power and an unyielding presence in the aquatic realm. What sets Dunkleosteus Torelli apart is its impressive size, reaching lengths of up to 33 feet, 10 meters, or more. The armor plating covering its body provided both protection and a sense of invincibility in the ancient marine ecosystem. As a relentless carnivore, it navigated the Devonian seas, an era marked by the flourishing of marine life and the gradual evolution of diverse aquatic species. The legacy of Dunkleosteus Torelli is etched in the fossil record, revealing a creature that symbolizes the raw, unbridled power of prehistoric life. Nothosaurs, a fascinating genus of reptiles belonging to the Sauropterygia order, emerged as aquatic marvels during the Anesian and Ladinian ages of the Middle Triassic, spanning approximately 240 to 210 million years ago. Among them, Nothosaurus mirabilis stood at a length of 3 meters, while larger species like Nothosaurus giganteus reached an impressive 6 meters. These reptilian predators were finely tuned for aquatic life, equipped with webbed feet and a streamlined body that facilitated navigation through breakers and shallow coastal waters. Yet they found solace on the sandy beaches and rocky caves along the coastline, a dual existence that showcased their adaptability to both land and sea. Nothosaurs were the adept hunters of their time, preying on fish and other marine creatures in the coastal zones of the ancient oceans. Their presence left an indelible mark on the European and Asian waters they inhabited. The mysteries of their reproductive habits add to the intrigue. It is speculated that, like contemporary turtles, they may have laid eggs in the sand, or perhaps opted for giving birth to their young in the embrace of the sea. Basilosaurus emerged as a formidable presence 40, 35 million years ago. Despite its name, which translates to King Lizard, this creature was a deviation from expectations, a predator of the waters that defied categorization. In the shores of what is now Alabama during the Eocene epoch, a time when mammals asserted their dominion over a world once ruled by dinosaurs. Here, Basilosaurus, with its elongated serpent-like form stretching 50, 60 feet, held sway. The discovery of the first Basilosaurus, named B. Cetoids, unfolded a skeletal enigma. A creature with a slender frame resembling a snake, adorned with a short ribcage, front arms, and a diminutive pelvis that seemed disconnected from its vertebrae. 
Initially misconstrued as an aquatic reptile hearkening back to the dinosaur era, revelations in the intricacies of its teeth reshaped the narrative. Basilosaurus, contrary to its outward appearance, was not a lizard, but an extraordinary predatory whale. As paleontologists delved into the fossilized remnants, the creature's true identity emerged. The Eocene seas harbored a predator that transcended the conventions of its time. The ichthyosaurs emerged as titans of the oceans, reigning as the principal predators millions of years ago. Picture a world where these marine reptiles, reminiscent of reptilian dolphins but harboring a distinct ferocity, commanded the seas with a prowess that mirrored their contemporary dominance. These formidable creatures, ranging in size from 3 to an imposing 13 meters, epitomize the apex predators of their era. Their distinctive features included a lengthy snout adorned with a formidable arsenal of razor-sharp teeth, embodying a lethal grace that underscored their role as rulers of the aquatic realm. However, the early chapters of ichthyosaur evolution were a canvas painted with the brushstrokes of awkward growth. A recent study delves into the intricate fossil record, revealing a mosaic of forms that hint at the evolutionary transitions these creatures underwent. Imagine peering into the ancient depths, where ichthyosaurs grappled with the challenges of their own metamorphosis, showcasing the quirks and peculiarities of their early stages. Enter the realm of ancient seas, where the haunting presence of sea scorpions or eurypterids sends ripples through the waters of prehistory. These enigmatic arthropods, existing over 400 million years ago, reigned as formidable predators in the aquatic landscapes of the Paleozoic era. Sea scorpions, with their calicary poised and pincers at the ready, navigated the depths with an otherworldly elegance. Some reached astonishing sizes, with the largest species, Jacolopterus, boasting lengths that rivaled modern crocodiles. In the dance of survival, these creatures showcased a delicate balance of grace and ferocity. Equipped with a robust exoskeleton and a menacing array of spines, sea scorpions epitomized the apex predators of their time. Their segmented bodies and jointed appendages allowed for a predatory prowess that sculpted the intricate dynamics of ancient marine ecosystems. In the ancient seas of the late Jurassic, Dacosaurus, a marine reptile, wielded characteristics that defined it as a formidable and deadly predator. Dacosaurus boasted a sleek and streamlined body, perfectly adapted for swift navigation through the water. Its powerful tail underscored its agility, enabling it to pursue prey with exceptional speed and precision. This aquatic marvel, despite its marine lifestyle, retained echoes of terrestrial ancestry in its limb structure showcasing the evolutionary journey that led to its dominance in the oceanic realm. One of Dacosaurus's most lethal features was its dental arsenal. Rows of sharp conical teeth formed a formidable array, finely tuned for grasping and subduing prey. This predatory adaptation, coupled with the creature's streamlined form, made Dacosaurus a force to be reckoned with in the ancient seas. Fossil discoveries in Europe have provided a glimpse into Dacosaurus's anatomical wonders, revealing the craftsmanship of nature and its design. These remnants bear witness to the creature's deadly efficiency as a predator, a role it played with prowess in the dynamic and competitive ecosystem of the late Jurassic. In the vast and mysterious Miocene seas, Liviaton loomed as a colossal and deadly marine giant, its presence etched into the annals of prehistoric history. At the heart of its formidable identity was a megatooth arsenal, teeth exceeding a foot in length, meticulously evolved for a singular purpose, the grappling and subduing of large prey. This lethal adaptation marked Liviaton as a true apex predator in the ancient marine hierarchy. Beyond its megatooth weaponry, Liviaton revealed a robust skull and powerful jaws, predatory adaptations of extraordinary precision. This intricate anatomical design showcased an efficient hunter, capable of navigating the turbulent waters with lethal accuracy. The sheer force of Liviaton's jaws and the resilience of its skull spoke to a creature sculpted by evolution for the ceaseless struggle of the prehistoric oceans. In the relentless dance of survival, Liviaton's deadly combination of features became a defining force. Its colossal size, coupled with predatory prowess, positioned it at the zenith of the marine ecosystem. Tylosaurus, a colossal marine reptile, emerged as a formidable and deadly predator, commanding the ancient waters with its lethal characteristics. 
This aquatic titan, with its streamlined body stretching over 40 feet in length, boasted a robust build and powerful musculature. These features, coupled with a strong tail and flippers, endowed Tylosaurus with unparalleled speed and agility, enabling it to navigate the ocean depths with precision. Its elongated jaws, armed with rows of razor-sharp teeth, transformed Tylosaurus into a fearsome hunter. Whether chasing down fish, cephalopods, or even other marine reptiles, its predatory prowess was unmatched. The conical teeth, designed for grasping and tearing through prey, reflected a finely tuned adaptation for securing its place at the top of the aquatic food chain. As a member of the Mosasaur family, Tylosaurus demonstrated intelligence and adaptability crucial for survival. Its opportunistic nature and ability to adjust feeding strategies to changing conditions showcased a predator finely tuned to the ebb and flow of the ancient marine ecosystem. The Megalodon. With jaws that could engulf a car and teeth that could slice through bone like butter, this colossal shark ruled the Miocene and Pliocene seas, instilling terror with every fin stroke. Picture the oceanic drama, a ballet of power and stealth. Megalodons, colossal in size, navigated the prehistoric waters with unmatched authority. Their prey, including whales and marine mammals, fell victim to the relentless pursuit of these oceanic titans. Megalodons were the architects of fear, their iconic serrated teeth leaving a legacy etched in fossilized tales of ancient marine dominance. The sheer magnitude of Megalodon's existence, reaching lengths of up to 82 feet, defied the imagination. As marine behemoths, they patrolled the oceans, their predatory prowess unmatched in the annals of prehistory. The colossal jaws, armed with rows of teeth that measured up to seven inches, turned the ocean into a vast hunting ground, a realm where megalodons reigned supreme. Yet, as the epics shifted and the planet underwent transformative changes, Megalodon too faced its twilight. The mysteries surrounding its extinction remain shrouded in the enigmatic depths of paleontological inquiry. The legacy of Megalodon, the leviathan of the ancient seas, endures in the whispers of fossilized teeth and the echoes of a bygone era, a reminder of nature's formidable and fleeting wonders. As the waves settle, the mysteries of the deep linger, where the deadliest sea monsters dance beneath the surface. From ancient Liviatons to contemporary sea scorpions, the ocean's secrets are a siren's call to the curious. So, let the tide of curiosity pull you deeper, for in the realm of sea monsters, every wave conceals a captivating enigma.